Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome all of you back to Blue Collar Monday. This week's installment, I've gone ahead and put some narration over the video. Um, and this is brought to you by the thebluecollargolfer.com. Um, last week, I mentioned in my blog uh, article itself um, that running might not be the best necessary application for your golf fitness. And uh, I probably ruffled a few of your feathers, but this week we're back. I promised I'd share with you some... Um, some tips on how to better spend your time and so we're going to share with you a sequence of three drills uh, strength drills flexibility drills uh, a little bit of stability and how to sequence them in a particular order to uh, help you kind of get uh, the most out of your efforts so uh, we're going to start off with a drill called the overhead squat this may give a few of you problems flexibility wise but um, it's a very excellent drill uh, for developing uh, dynamic flexibility, uh, mobility, and strength all throughout the whole body. Uh, we're going to start in a squat position uh, with the bar overhead. It could be a stick bar, um, depending on your strength levels. Uh, arms out approximately at a 45 degree angle from the body and uh, moving into that deep squat position. We're going to concentrate on maintaining a, some good tension throughout our upper back and um, pushing our knees wide as we go down to that deep position to um, create space for our hips. Our next drill with our, is our side bridge in our sequence of drills that we're doing today. Side bridge is a really good stability drill. Um, and actually, there's been some real recent research come out that uh, there's some indicators that uh, deficiency in endurance in the side bridge will actually indicate potential for uh, a back injury. So it's a very, very relevant uh, exercise for golfers. Um, a couple key points, you want to keep your shoulder right over your elbow, uh, really try to brace the middle of your body and try to keep those hips from dropping down. You want to try to maintain a nice steady line um, down from your shoulders out so at their highest elevation point to the ankles and maintain that. Uh, try not to clench over the top of your body with your, um, with your chest and shoulder. Try to keep everything nice and opened up in that situation. Uh, our final drill is what we call a medicine ball squat thrust and then moving into an overhead press. Uh, my ball has handles, uh, but you could do this just as easily with the ball without. Um, basically, this is a total body condition, but it also allows us some dynamic flexibility working to uh, stretch out the hips and and uh, stretch out and develop some strength in the upper body um, through the shoulders, trunk, um, and the upper arm area. So as I spoke last week, I, I wanted to share that, that there are a lot of different ways that you can develop conditioning aside from just going out and running and that we want some specificity to, to our sport and to be able to carry over the drills that we're doing um, to have, provide value to the sport itself. And so what I've done is I've created complex of the, with these three drills that I just spoke about and kind of give you a general description of in order to create not only strength, dynamic flexibility, but also some conditioning um, without having to go out and put thousands of foot contacts in by running. And so in the end of this uh, video, you'll see me um, combine this complex in a very rapid order. Obviously, you want to develop some proficiency with your um, skill of these three drills, but as you do that, you can definitely get a conditioning component and develop general fitness, what we call general physical preparation from these drills together, um, starting with the overhead squat, moving rapidly into your side bridge, and then finishing off with the squat thrust uh, to overhead press. Um, I, my preferred method of programming for this would generally be to, say, perform 10 overhead squats, go directly into your side bridge, perform two drills of that on each side for approximately 10 seconds per side, and then go right into the uh, medicine ball squat thrust to overhead press for 10 reps. After that, take a approximately a minute, maybe two minutes rest and move into that. Sequence through that complex three times and you should have a great set of uh, drills that will really provide a lot of benefit. Uh, so this is the Blue Collar Golfer signing off for the week. Uh, until next week, keep it simple.